All right, guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about DIY camera mounts. So the quadcopter that you're looking right now is a three inch, very basic setup, basic motors, uh, F3 boards and 28.41 ESCs. And I really like to fly squad. It performs really well for, for its parts. It's a cheap setup. It works pretty good for me. And I have a Foxer Aero Mini and I was just flying in a car park not long ago. This is crashing a lot, picking it up, continue flying. And then um, suddenly my camera starts to vibrate. So I stopped flying because uh, my mount came loose after a long time. Because I've been, I've been using this mount for a long time. And then it came loose. And I decided to make a video to show you guys how you can actually create a mount um, for, your, for any of your quads that you have in uh, problems finding proper mounts or perhaps the the camera is too small for the for the frame it doesn't fit properly it vibrates so I demonstrate you, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I do it and you can apply that to any of your quads that you are having problems trying to mount the camera for any reason so here we go guys this is what you're going to need you're going to need a blade I've got two happen to have two here and you're gonna need a hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can try using another gun. I would suggest you using hot glue because if you need to make some further adjustments in angle or if you need to replace the camera in case of a crash, um, it's a lot easier. It will come out easily and it will hold on tight. But if you don't have, um, I would suggest you to use another any other type of glue that you have that will hold the the mount safely, securely, okay? And then we are going to use this. These are forms that comes in the. This one came in the Foxer uh, Monster V2, but I really prefer to use the forms that comes in the ATX or the VTX03, which uh, you can see the format here. When you buy the the VTX03. It comes in a box and these forms will come inside and this material is really good for camera mounts because it's like a sponge and we absorb all the vibrations that will come from the motors and it's free it's just inside the box you can uh, recycle it to make um, camera mount and this is what we're gonna do now so we are back so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure here the distance between the two standoffs okay so I would say you want to you want to be slightly off here as you can see this here right slightly off and then you're gonna cut you're gonna mark here just mark around here I'm just gonna pass the blade here cool so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut Okay, oh sorry, just make another measurement here. So here to here. And you also wanna know how high you're going. So I'm gonna go around here. So I have two measurements now. Cut it off. Around here. Yep, that's my mark. So cut it off here. Okay, let's 
cut it off very good and I will cut it off here now here's a tip I always cut a little bit longer than I actually need in case I need to make some corrections as you can see it's of course it's bigger so we need to cut until this fits nicely inside here okay so I'm just gonna cut a little bit more around here that's gonna be the next mark and then when you measure here I need to cut a little bit I would cut a little bit more as well let's cut here first okay so let's take another small slice off this guy very good now if it's a little bit bigger it's fine because you want this thing to be really tight here right so you want to be nice and fit by itself even without putting any glue you want it to be nice and fit so it does the job already it's just nice and fit here so that means this is a good cut okay just put this away for a while and then when you put it here here you are so you have already a mount so now we get what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole here right in the middle where we're gonna put the lens of the camera and then after that after that's done we're just going to fix when, what angle you want the camera to be and then it's done okay so let's do a hole here let's measure and do a hole here so basically for a hole you just want to force the camera lens here until you have a mark actually you don't even really need to force much as you can see we already have a mark I didn't even push much so you know this is what the lens how wide you need the cut to be cool now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use another blade I have here that's a really sharp has a little bit sh sharper it's newer it's sharper so this is how I'm gonna cut make the hole for the camera with this little tiny sharp blade here This is all we need right now okay we have a camera mount already okay let me just clean up the space here this one will go down here and then this guy will go here okay now I just want to remind you that the Foxer mount it doesn't fit in this frame the blades are we just touch it as you can see here the blades will touch the, the the mount and i wouldn't be able to use these blades or i don't be able to fly the squad with the, with the with this camera which is such a waste because this camera is really good i really like this camera but with this mount we we don't have any problems we can fly we can fly with this camera and use this mount okay pretty good now there's one more thing i need to do this is a little bit too high i'm just going to trim it a little bit on the top so i can push my camera down a bit and i can bring it forward now notice here that if you have a crash your blades will hit first second you have a foam here but your camera you won't get affected you won't get the hit there's no impact in the camera because the standoffs will protect it and this little piece of foam will protect as well so that's it guys trim here lock it in hot glue hot glue at the bottom hot glue at the sides little bit of hot glue here and you're good to go
Awesome guys. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow us on Instagram for daily updates. And also don't forget to join the group RC Deals and Offers on Facebook for daily deals. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy flying. Thank you.